the next question from the sister in the rear. Assalamu alaikum, sir. My name is Rashmi Singh. I want to say that I have accepted Islam from my heart. But I want to say that you have to read me yesterday. Sister has said that she wants to accept Islam and she wants me to make her read the Shada. Do you understand English, sister? Yes. Do you believe there is one God? Yes. Do you believe that idol worship is wrong? Yes. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger of God? Yes. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No. Is there any economic pressure? No. Is there any physical pressure? No. Are you accepting with your free will? Yes. Yes, sister. So I will inshallah recite the Kalma in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Is his servant and messenger. Is his servant and messenger. MashaAllah sister. Now you are a Muslim. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he guide you. And may he keep you on the straight path. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse number 8. Rabbana la tulzi qulubana baadith hadaytana wa hablana min ladun karhema inna kantal wahab. That oh Lord. Please keep us on the straight path after thou hast guided us and keep us on the straight path. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give you more hidayah to keep you in the straight path and may he grant you Jannah. So I want to ask you one question. Sir, if my parents know about this house, then how can I like, I want to understand how I am doing the right thing. Sister has a question that if the parents come to know at home, how will she convince the parents that what she's doing is the truth? Sister, first thing is that you start loving your parents more, number one. Start loving your mother and father more, obey them, respect them, follow them, unless if they tell you something against Allah and His Rasul, that's the only time you disobey. There should be a difference between what you were before and what you are now. Maybe you never used to follow many of the advice now, as long as what they say doesn't go against Quran and say Hadith, my request to you is, even if you don't like it, you start following. They should see a difference. This is my daughter before she was a Muslim, and now this is my daughter after she accepted Islam. If they find a change in you, they will start asking you, Are, yesterday you weren't following me, now you're following everything what I'm saying. Immediately. Why? This is what the Quran says. This is what our beloved Prophet said, that paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother. In this way, you try and win them over. The Quran says in Surah Futila, chapter number 41, verse number 34, that it is better to win over them and it can be done with hikmah. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 125, Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in ways that are best and most gracious. I would request you to give my DVD similarities between Islam and Hinduism to your parents and inshallah it will soften their heart and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may give hidayah to your parents also and to your family members. Thank you sir.